In this video, we're going to learn how to create a Sankey diagram. So the first step is to create a line. So I'm accessing the line tool. I clicked L on my keyboard. You can also get it by going down here to the toolbar. And I simply draw out a line and let's make this 40. Uh, and then we're going to click enter. So we have access to both of the points here. And we're gonna take the, the bin tool and we're just gonna click on the point, click back on the bin tool, click on that other point. And now this is the hardest step to get past because a lot of people will access these um, to create a, a, a bended line. But as you see here, now this is diagonal, this edge. And if it's diagonal, it makes it difficult to, to create that chart in a manner that makes sense. And the reason being is, let's say I drag this out and um, we reposition it it just it doesn't look great so let's start this over so line I draw that out make this 30 again click enter and then click on both of the points with the bin tool okay so now actually the first step is to just select one of these points so I'm just gonna click enter click enter again select a point and we're just gonna move it up so now we have the straight edges so now we can build out the rest of this. So let's just do a simple type of Sankey diagram like the one shown above. So uh, we will make this a blue. So I'm using the forms and tables design system that I've created and I'll put a link in the description, but just pick some type of blue color if you don't have access to it. And then we're gonna make this 40%. So I am going to click four on my keyboard and change the appearance to 40%. Okay, and now I'm gonna drag this out. So I'm holding shift option and just dragging. And now let's uh, make this go the kind of opposite direction. And then we need one more because they're all gonna come from this point here. So, and we'll make this relatively a flat line. Okay, so that's looking good. Now the next step is we want them to have different widths. So we'll just go ahead and, and change all of these. So this one, let's do uh, 60 or actually 90. This one, let's just um, times it by two to be 60. I just wanna show you how you can do math um, in here to make things easier. And this, let's uh, just bump it up to 70, that looks good. Now we're gonna make it so it's not overlapping. That looks good, bump this one down. Okay, so this forms the basis of, of the first part of the Sankey diagram. So now let's um, just duplicate this out. And so, this is gonna be two, so we'll duplicate that again. And then we'll have this come down. And this is 60, so we can just divide by two, which is gonna be 30, but just showing you the math here. So that looks good. And then you can kinda of play with it. So let's, let's make this one actually 40, and let's bring this one down to then 20. So it makes it a little bit more dynamic. So you could think of this like, like uh, on a gross margin, operating margin, net margin. It's kind of like the, the waterfall you would see. So that, that would be one way uh, or one reason you'd create a Sankey diagram. Uh, but I recommend kind of researching uh, the best data for, for that. So now let's just push both of these in. So the length is gonna be less and we can push this one in a little bit same with this one so now we can add the caps so i'll just use the rectangle tool you could also use a frame to do this but i'm going to use a rectangle and we'll do that blue um, but we're not going to make it um 40 percent um so just a solid fill color and then we'll put them on each end and maybe have like a couple of pixels uh, above and below so that looks good. And we'll just do that for each one here. 
Okay, and now we'll just draw out the label. So I'm using the text tool. We'll just write label, and that will be our placeholder. So notice that this is centered. So if I create this into a component and reuse it and, and create the label, it could be very long and it would push it. So we want this to push from the, the left here. So if you write it out, um, it will look good. And then we'll do another label here and we'll want it to push from the right. So when you edit it, it will go out from the right and then just add the label to each one of the points. Okay, so this looks pretty good, um, but usually these are done with different colors. So we could do that quickly now um, to build something like this. Okay, so that looks good. And now let's just duplicate this and play around with more complexity. So what we could do is we could have these kind of overlapping instead. So just push these two down and then we'll take these, push this back up. So you can see how you can make it overlap and make it a bit more dynamic. Um, of course, this makes more sense when uh, you have um, more origin points and they kind of start to overlap to go to different destinations. Um, so definitely play around and you can create some pretty complex charts. Um, I recommend playing around with, with real data as well, which is a little bit outside the scope of this video, but that is how you create a Sankey diagram.